Hello everyone. I'm glad you're back today. Are you ready? Today, in part 3 of the tutorial, we're going to practice on three layer smart materials. They allow us to texture our meshes by superimposing several layers of textures, like a metal coating covered with rust and uh, dirt, for example. Okay, let's go! I take the setup we created in part number two. We will first look at the smart material that textures the science fiction work support. What you notice right away is that it's very, very, very dirty. We will see how to change this. As you can see, the work plane is made of two materials. The first textures the central part, and the second textured the outer parts. So I will open the second smart material. This mesh is covered with two layers, the base and the covering one. You can configure the albedo, metalness, roughness, and normal. The base layer is classic. But on the layer 2, covering 1, you can see that the opacity is adjustable. The damage textures used on this layer are adjustable in real time. This is possible by transparency. Value of 0, the texture is invisible. Value of 1, it completely covers the mask inserts in the mask of one slot. Here, the setting is one. The damage texture has completely covered the texture of the base layer because the mask used is completely white. This also prevented the emissive texture from appearing. I decrease the value of the opacity and it gradually appears. The emissives of the smart materials are configured so that they can't pass through the layers of covering 1 and 2. They are totally or partially blocked depending on our settings. Mud, dirt or rust will reduce the visibility of the emissives. This intensifies the realism. I wanted to show you a subtle tie that is present on all screens of the Goliath workstation pack. Earlier, I was talking about the dirt on the SkyFi work plane. Here, I changed the covering once opacity, but the dirt remains. This is because on all screens, this dirt is integrated in the base layer. But you can make it disappear by changing the roughness value. I decrease the value of the max roughness and the traces disappear. The screen looks new. Conversely, increasing the minimum roughness value will make the screen dull, dirty and dusty. I show you again the three appearances. And don't forget that they can be overlay with two more layers like mud and rust for example. Close to zero, the roughness value makes the screen new. With the default value, the screen is dirty. And if I increase the minimum roughness value, the screen becomes dull and dusty. We are going to modify another mesh. I will show you how to add a texture layer. The setting of the smart material is the same as for the previous one, but this time we will optimize it. On the medium screen, the first material concerns the metal parts, and the second the screen. Here, we will focus on the screen. The base layer is used 
to display the screen texture without major imperfections. And the second layer, the covering one, adds damage to the screen by transparency. The opacity is set to 0.3, so there is not much damage. But when I increase the value, the damage layer is more and more visible and many imperfections appear. I can still make the damage appear up to a value of 1 so that the damage is as visible as possible. You can take a value higher than 1 but I don't guarantee the result. The textures have been created to appear with a maximum of value of 1. If it's higher, the results could be interesting in some cases but very strange in other cases. Ok, with the base layer and the covering one, we have a damage screen. Now, we use the smart material to the fullest by configuring the third layer. To do this, I will go to the texture library. It's here, 4K, covering. Now, I can choose my textures. I will use the mud. It will be interesting to observe the behavior of the emissive trigger mask. Ok, let's go. I use the search bar. Mud 03. Mask. Albedo. Metalness. Roughness. And no more. I hide the covering one so that I can only observe the covering two. The mud. Only the base is visible. I will change the opacity value and the mud texture will appear. The curve to mask displays the mud texture only where there are black surfaces. The size of the texture is too large. I will reduce it. To do this, I increase the tilling value. Ok, but the mud seems to enter in the screen. To correct this, you have to reverse the normal value. Minus 1. Ok, now it's perfect. I will change the color. It's here. Mm. Dark brown. The rain ring is clear. I leave you to observe. Emissives don't penetrate mud. Ok, perfect. Now, we will texture another mesh. In the Goliath workstation package, all meshes have the first two layers of their smart materials which are used with textures, the clean and the damaged textures. Its textures are custom designed for the Goliath workstation table. This leaves layer 3 to customize the mesh's appearance. But you can remove them if you wish and use the texture library. I will also do a tutorial on using Megascan textures 
with smart materials. I'm also updating the texture library. It will be much more consistent and will be available in 4K and 8K. An ebook describing each texture will be downloadable for free, so you can use it in parallel with your workflow as several hundreds of textures will integrate the library in a short time. Okay, now we will use the three layers of smart materials with the texture library. We will modify this part, the top table. The table is textured with eight materials. The part we are interested in is textured with the second one. The first two layers are used with the clean and damaged textures. If I make the damage invisible, only the base textures are visible. Layer 3 is not used at the moment. I will remove the damage textures. I'm going to keep the base texture and layer it with two other layers. I have to select the turn for the first layer. I will start with dirt. Yeah. Okay. Dirt 2. I select the mask. Albedo, Metalness, Roughness, Normal. Now I change the opacity value. And I adjust the size by changing the tilling value. Okay, the cleaning lid will be fired for sure. Now, I will choose a term for layer 3. The rust will allow me to show you clearly the removal of the three layers of textures. Rust 1. I select a mask. Albedo. Metalness, roughness, normal. Now I set the opacity to one. change the tilling. Oh good, now I would like to link the three layers so that it's uh, harmonious, coherent and realistic. You can see that the third layer is much darker than the rest. I can reverse the two layers to put the dirt on top of the rest or I can change the colors.
I darken the rust. Yeah, it's good. So, for this part, we used the base with the clean textures of the Goliath workstation and the two other layers allowed us to degrade the mesh with the textures of the library. Part 3 of the tutorial is finished. Part 4 will be dedicated to the configuration of the screens. See you soon!